Hey everyone, it's Terry over at Decorate with Tip and More. Today, we're kickstarting our series one room at a time. This series is where we want to give our home a makeover, a refresh, or just a simple updating by taking it one room at a time. We have done it before and it seems like you all have enjoyed it. So um, sit back and enjoy where we are taking a guest bedroom in our home and giving it a makeover update or just refreshing it. So um, I wanted to take you um, into the room, show you what it looks like um, now, and then I want um, to give you a plan of what I need to do. Now, this room for us is going to be a challenge. It serves two purposes. One, for a guest, where they can come to our home, find it inviting, welcoming, and comfortable. And then two, the most important reason is because we want Kehlani um, to enjoy her toys in that room. Um, right now we have uh, the toys just stacked up against the wall, actually touching each other. And when she wants to play, I have to bring them into the living room or move them away from the wall. So I want to get it to where she can enjoy going in that room and um, playing with whatever she wants comfortably. So wish me luck. I think I can do it. It's going to be difficult, but I'm up for the challenge. So go up to the blog and check out what the room looks like now and all my challenges and then what I want to do to the room to make it both inviting, welcoming, and comfortable for both Kehlani and our guest. So the first thing I wanted to do was find bedding for the bed. It's the largest item in the room, so I want to um, start there. And then maybe that will give me some inspiration for some um, decor pieces or what I want to do up on the wall. So I wanted to take you into Belle's Outlet. I have shopped there a lot lately and it's really a nice, affordable um, place to do some um, decor shopping. I haven't really shopped their clothing, but I'm always in that um, home sections. I did stop in Big Lots and TJ Maxx since they were right in the same shopping center. I hit the jackpot um, the day I went shopping. I found bedding and um, I did find a few other things. So I wanted to share that with you, but first I want to take you shopping into Bell's Outlet to share the process. Let's head into Bell's Outlet to see what we can find. Todd decided to come with me, so I'll have a shopping buddy. So I lost my shopping buddy. He went to the men's clothing department. But as you could tell, there is still a lot of patriotic red, white, and blue decor and a lot of outdoor decor such as throw pillows, furniture, and pieces you could place outside. Um, I'm sure it all will go on sale soon, but they do have a lot to choose from. The bedding is the same way. So many different options, colors to choose from. I'm looking for taupes or blues to stay in my color palette. Bedding sets are so affordable here. I just love all the different colors and textures you can find here. Um, they do have throw blankets. They have sheet sets in all different colors and sizes from full size to king size. Their throw blankets are in grouping colors, so that's easy to find. Go to the color you want to look at and see what uh, catches your eyes. I can just go crazy with all the home decors they have. I love this shade of blue on that table. Let's head home and I'll show you what I purchased. So as you can tell, Bell's Outlet had a lot of bedding that I could choose from. I wanted to stay with the same color palette and the reason why is because I am one that likes to change our home and give it a little update refresh by changing decor pieces from one room to the other and it's very easy when you have a um, home color palette. Um, so you could take something from the kitchen and put it in the living room and it will match. So for me, it's affordable to do it that way. So I wanted to share with you what I found in Bell's few other things that I picked up in the other stores. First thing I wanted to look for when I was in Bell's is a white um, bedding set. Um, I like to use white or off-white because I can change it with seasons and I can bring in the colors with um, another throw and throw pillows. So I wanted to find a white comforter set and I found exactly what I was looking for. 
So why do I have a king size here when my bed is queen size? The reason is typically when you buy a um, queen size bedding set that comes together, they're always shorter. Um, the comforters are always shorter and they don't hang real pretty over the bed. They stop way before the bed ruffle or the wood part of your um, bed. So I buy a king size um, bedding, one size bigger, so that my bedding will go past where the ruffle starts, if that makes sense. This does not come with a bed ruffle. I wouldn't use it anyway. I would um, buy the bed ruffle that fits my bed. So I do have a queen size bed. But this um, comes with a comforter. It comes with uh, pillow shams and Ural shams and two accent pillows. It only cost me $59.99. The reason why I like this is I have almost the same thing in our other guest bedroom. It has ruffly um, detailing on the comforter, which hides wrinkles that I love because I am a fanatic about wrinkles. If I see a wrinkle, I wanna press it. So this bedding um, just acts like it um, is supposed to have wrinkles in it. So I like that. And for $59.99, I could not go wrong. Now to bring in some color, I didn't know if I was gonna go with a blue or a taupe. I was just kind of looking to see if anything caught my eye and I found the perfect shade of blue. This is a comforter set as well. I did buy a queen. They did have a king, but I thought a queen would be better because I'll be laying it over on the bed for accent. Two shams and a comforter and I love it. And also it has um, some detailing in it, if you could see. So it's not going to bother me um, if there's wrinkles in it. This was $49.99, and like I said, it is a queen size comforter set, so I really do like this, and I love the color. So then I was looking at their sheets, and I did find um, a queen size uh, set. This is satin. It is a 800 count, and the price was $19.99. If you could see, it was $19.99. And it comes with four pillowcases and then the fitted and the flat. I bought two of those. I like to have one extra to change. Um, and then for a throw blanket, I found the perfect match for my um, comforter here. I, I absolutely love it. It was $29.99. It's a, like a really thin um, quilt type and it has some detailing on it. I just love this um, and it gives it a little bit of pattern on the bed. Um, for an accent pillow, I found this long, uh, very long oblong pillow. It um, has a lot of texture. It's a little bit darker shade of blue, which I like the contrast. And then it has several um, tassels on each end of it. I just love that long pillow. So I was happy with that. And on the wall, I found these uh, beautiful frames. They're the same type of frame, but it has all the shades of blue and it has the browns of my um, color palette. And I really do like how that looks. It um, goes with um, all the blues in the room. So love that. They were uh, $12.99. I don't think that was a bad price at all that print on the frames. And that's all I found in Bells. So um, I went to TJ Maxx just to look to see what they had in their bedding. And I was so amazed of what I found. I found two accent pillows. If you could see, I am talking same color. These do have a texture. Um, linen kind of uh, feel to it with some snag white um, detailing. I just love those. Um, it came in a set of two, actually was on clearance and they were $20 for two of them. So that's all I found in TJ Maxx. So then we went to the store right next to it, Big Lots, and I wasn't um, too impressed with any of their bedding, but I did find this base all the colors in my color palette. I really do like how this looks. Um, the last thing that I wanted to address is the drapes. 
So I ordered some garment linen um, panels for the uh, window. I only have one window in there. Found these on Amazon. I will link the curtains um, up on my blog, but everything else I can't link because it's a Bell's Outlet or TJ Maxx and it's really hard to do that. But anyway, go check out my plans and how the room looks now. Friday, I'm gonna be um, sharing what the room looks like all cleared up and what I'm gonna be doing on the walls. I hope you enjoyed this series. Make sure if you like my um, haul here from Bell's Outlet, or if you have a Bell's and you like it too, give me a big thumbs up and sprinkle this haul video with your friends so my um, video will get out there so maybe more people would like um, some inspiration on a guest bedroom or even their master bedroom. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. God bless.